Question 15 says information about a function f and its derivatives is given below. Use the information to answer questions that follow. So the information about f is we're giving two limits, the limit as x goes to 0 from the right and the limit as x goes to 2 from the left. We're also given the graph of the derivative. So between 0 and 1, the derivative is 0, which means that there's a constant function here. So it's some form of a line, and in it's actually going to be a horizontal line because horizontal lines have slope zero. Then we're told from one to two that the derivative is one everywhere. So that means you're gonna have a line of slope one. We also can see in this um, derivative graph that the function is not differentiable at zero, one, or two. And that could be for a couple of reasons. It could mean that the function doesn't exist there. It could mean that there's some kind of sharp point there. So for now, we're going to assume that the function just doesn't even exist. So we're gonna draw open circles and then when we look at our final picture, um, we'll see if maybe we need to make the argument that we need to connect the graph together. So using these graphs in tandem, from zero to one, this tells me that my slope is zero. So I know I have some kind of horizontal line, I just need to know where on my y-axis to put it. But the limit here says that if you go to x from the right as you approach zero, the limit is two. So if I go up to 2, right, the function should be coming in from the right toward that open circle at 2. But then this telling me that it's horizontal all the way to 1 means I can then connect it all the way to 1 and there's my horizontal line. So we can see that the derivative of this is in fact 0, so it matches. The next limit I'm given is I'm told that as we go to 2 from the left, the y value is 1. So here's 2. If I'm coming in from the left, the function should be hitting the value 1. But then the derivative graph tells me that the slope of this line is 1, right? Because it's 1 everywhere. So that means if I do rise over run, up 1 over 1, my line should come like this. So we can see here, we actually have a jump discontinuity here. So it's possible on the original graph that this is closed in or this is closed in because we weren't given any information about the graph at one. So if you're not given anything, it's perfectly okay to assume that the function just doesn't exist. You also want to make sure when you're done with your graph of f that it passes the vertical line test. So we want to make sure that if we were to draw a vertical line anywhere on this function, it doesn't cross it more than one time. So this is perfectly acceptable final answer. If you were to bubble in this or bubble in this, that would also be okay, but you could never do both because then it would fail the vertical line test. So the next two parts of the question simply add us, ask us to read our graph and answer questions about these limits. So what is the limit as x goes to 1 from the left? So here's 1 coming from the left side. We see that the limit is 2. If we want to look at what's happening when we approach 1 from the right, well, as we're coming from the right, we can see that our limit is 0.